one thing I'm curious about, you mentioned before that you were a guy who, who likes to likes to wet the beak, likes to, likes to gamble. Uh, oh, yeah. What is your favorite weekly NFL bet? Okay, so NFL. Okay, so I'm very particular and superstitious. Um, okay, uh, love this. First of, yeah, first of all, uh, I, I, NHL, that's my wheelhouse. I will parlay <laughs> NHL games for days, and I will okay. just, I'll, I'll parlay the money lines for days. Yeah, uh, That's my favorite thing to do. When it comes to the NFL, um, I don't like to bet on primetime games because teams do random stuff on primetime games. Oh, yeah. It's the 1 o'clock games – that you kind of know how they're going to go. Yes. And the NFL is a beast, man. Any given week, a team can show up. Um, but toward the end of the season, 1 o'clock games, those are the times when the team that's supposed to cover the spread usually covers the spread, in my opinion. So that's where I usually go to. Um, yeah. You know, betting against the Jags is usually – I mean, this year, they, they didn't cover <laughs> – only, only they covered the spread – they covered the spread twice. I mean, against the Bills, I think, once. And then uh, the Colts, the end of the year, the only th- their wins are the only times <laughs> yeah. covered the spread. It's funny. I I have this terrible knack for when a team is terrible, like the Jags were this year. I always love to bet against them or bet on them against the spread because I think that you know everyone thinks they're terrible and they're catching a lot of points, so they can't be that bad, right? So I remember the year that the the Browns went zero and sixteen. I bet on them like 12 times, something preposterous, because every week I'm like, there's no way that this team cannot <laughs> cover again. And my my lesson there was like, Hugh Jackson is the worst football coach in the history of the world. This guy, not only does he lose every week, my man can't cover a goddamn spread. Yeah, cover the I fucking know. spread, you. I, I don't know. I don't understand it. Yeah, it, it. Coaches go a long way. I mean, they're really they're undervalued a lot. And people like are just like whatever players are players. But coaches have a big, you know, a big part of it. For refs sure, too, man. Refs yeah. too. Refs get a reputation. You yeah, get some refs. You're like, do you know this dude's gonna throw 15 yeah. flags this game? So Absolutely. You gotta be careful. So, uh, so it's funny you, you talk about the primetime games. I'll, I'll just tell you one of my favorite primetime bets is running quarterback to, to score the or quarterback rush for the first touchdown oh, like because that. it hits in prime time. All the freaking time. I haven't even thought is, about that. That's great. It's such a fun bet because for whatever reason, these teams do weird stuff. They get to the one-yard line. They just push the quarterback one yard ahead. And it, ha- it hits so much on these Thursday games, these Sunday games, and the weirdest quarterbacks hit. And it is such a fun freaking bet. So something like to watch that. out for, people, on, on hey, primetime games. Hey, Kenny Pickett, bro. That's going to be your bet every week, huh? Oh, yeah. Kenny Pickett <laughs> oh, and, and Mitchell Trubisky. Every week, exactly. rushing touchdown, Steelers, yeah. rushing touchdown, first quarterback. Uh, so, yeah, so that's it. what we're looking at this year. 